Hello guys, this is only a short video about conjunctivitis. Ano yung conjunctivitis guys? Conjunctivitis, this is an inflammation of the membrane covering the white. Yes, covering the whites of the eyes. Ayan. And the membranes of the inner part of the eyelid. Yes. So, in order for a person to avoid conjunctivitis, you have to avoid touching your eyes area. You always wash your hands frequently, particularly after applying a medications to the eye area. And never, never, never share towels or handkerchiefs, yes, and throw away tissues after each use. Mm -hmm. Proper eye drop procedure, di ba? Pag meron tayong conjunctivitis, merong eye drops, anong gagawin natin? We need to wash our hands. We have to shake the bottle before using. While the patient is lying down, pull the lower eyelid down with one or two fingers to create a small pouch. And of course, gently, gently squeeze one drop into the inside of the lower eyelid. And then take care not to touch the eye or eyelashes with a dropper or bottle mm -hmm. and then close the eye for 30 to 60 seconds to let the drops absorb and wipe excess fluid with clean tissue ayan guys conjunctivitis this is only a short video ayan so maraming salamat good night bye bye Hello mga friends, kumusta kayong lahat? May bagong awareness naman tayo ngayon. Tonight, I'm gonna share with you what is tonsillitis. Because tonsillitis is very popular in children and even in adults. Tonsillitis, guys, it is an inflammation of the tonsils at the back of our throat. In most cases, of tonsillitis are cause of a viral infection. Uh-huh. What are the signs and symptoms? Red and swollen tonsils, white or yellow tonsils, sore throat and painful swallowing, fever, enlarged tender glands or the lymph nodes, or bad breath, stomach ache, particularly in younger children. Okay? Minsan pagsabi ng inyong anak, Mami, masakit po ang aking tiyan. It could be a tendency or a possible that a child has a tonsil problem. In every young children, signs of tonsillitis may include drawling. Drawling yung um, tumutuli yung kanilang laway due to what? Difficulty or painful swallowing or refusing to eat or unusual fussiness. Uh -huh. Treatments. What are the treatment, guys? Self-care is generally the first line of treatment and often and that's needed. Rest. Kailangan din ng rest. Encourage your child to sleep and rest his or her voice. Adequate fluids. Kailangan uminom ng maraming fluids. Give your child a plenty of water. Yes, to keep the throat moist and to prevent dehydration. Give them comforting foods and beverages, warm liquids, including brews, cold treats like ice, ice, ice pops. Mm -hmm. Can suit the sore throat. Yan. Ice pops is very helpful. Ayan. Salt water gargle. You gonna, if your child can gargle, mix one teaspoon of table salt into eight ounce of warm water and then you have to gargle the solution. Okay? Pain relievers. Ano yung mga pain reliever, guys? Ibuprofen, Advil, Motrin IV, or Acetaminophen, Tynolol may reduce throat pain and fever. 
antibiotics for tonsillitis caused by a bacterial infection, antibiotics are generally prescribed. Minsan, the doctor's gonna give you 7 days or 10 days. It depends. But in the long run, you have to finish the course of uh, taking the antibiotics because that is very important. Surgery. The surgery in case of frequently recurring tonsillitis, surgery may be performed to remove the tonsils. Always remember, guys, kung meron kang tonsils, you have a frequent tonsillitis, for example, in one year, okay, in one year, meron kang seven episodes ng tonsils in one year, you are recommended for the surgeries. Yan ang i-recommend ng inyo doctor. Yes. Kasi, seven times in one year, lagi kang nagsusort throat, that is not good already. That is not healthy already. So, the doctor gonna recommend for a surgery of your tonsil. Okay? Ayan, bagong awareness. So, huwag kalimutan, isi-share ito sa inyong family and friends and to your community. What are the food that you want to eat kung meron kang tonsillitis? Anong dapat na mga pagkain na dapat nating kainin? Warm, cook, pasta, including macaroni and cheese. Warm oat milk, cook cereal or grits, gelatin desserts, plain yogurts or yogurts with pureed fruits, cook veggies, yes, fruit or veggie smoothies, yes, mashed potatoes, broth and cream based soup. Yan ang mga dapat natin kainin kung meron tayong tonsillitis. Ano naman guys, ang mga bawal. Alam nyo naman, ang bawal ay masarap. Hmm. Pero pag meron kang tonsillitis, of course, you are not comfortable in swallowing. You have a painful uh, when you sw swallow something. So for people with tonsillitis, eating hard or sharp foods can be uncomfortable and even painful. Yes, di ba masakit guys? So, ano naman yun guys, ang mga pagkain na dapat natin i-avoid pag meron tayong tonsillitis. Chips, crackers, dry cereal, toast, raw carrots, and raw apples. Ayan ang mga bawal. Masarap daw ang bawal. There are several treatments that you can try at home. To ease throat pain from tonsillitis, as I mentioned earlier, I just want to reiterate because this is very important that we can apply this at home. Drink plenty of fluids. Inom, inom ng maraming tubig. Get a lot of rest. Kasi pag meron kang tonsillitis, you are not feeling good, you are feeling tired, gusto mo na magpahinga ka muna. Rest, rest din pag may time. Okay? Gargle with warm salt water several times a day. Ayan. And of course, you need to eat popsicles or other frozen foods. And use a humidifier to moisten the air in your home. Pag walang humidifier, pwede kayo mag-boil ng, ano, ng tubig. Guys, mag-boil kayo ng tubig sa bahay ninyo. That could help to you um, moisten the environment. Okay? And this is very important. You need to avoid smoke. Ayan, yung mga smokers natin dyan. Try to avoid uh, smoking kung meron kayong tonsillitis. How can you prevent tonsillitis, guys? You need to wash your hands often, especially before touching your nose and your mouth. Wash, wash, wash yan. hands is the key and it is very important washing our hands avoid sharing food yes drink utensils with someone who is sick ayan talagang bawal yan mag share ng pagkain ng mga utensils natin sa mga taong may sakit and this is very important replace your toothbrush 
regularly. Ang pag-replace daw guys ng ating toothbrush is every 3 months. Okay? Try to do that kung ano, yung toothbrush natin, kailangan natin i-replace. Especially if you nag to take kayo ng antibiotics after taking the course of uh, taking antibiotics, you have to, you have to disregard your toothbrush and then replace a new one. Okay? Shout out pala sa kay Genix B Vlog. Happy birthday sa iyo. Yan nagse-celebrate ng kanyang birthday. This is an update guys for my charity. In my last vlog I mentioned I have 30 recipients for my uh, pamaskong handog ni Gracie. Uh, I have a coordination with New Marist in Mission in Coronadal. I am um, coordinating with Mr. Arvin Tihada. And this is kind of a group. I just give you a little bit background about it. It's a new Maris in Mission. It is a group of uh, mga retired faculty members and um, ng, ano, ng Notre Dame. And uh, one of their mission is to give education. Nagbibigay sila ng education sa mga IPs in particular. And of course, sa parents at the same time and children. So, I mentioned last blog that I gonna have a 30 recipients and I just talked to him earlier that they also give lecture to parents and during that time, at, at, um, yung mga parents are together with their kids. So, I told him, okay, I gonna also include in my charity ang mga parents. So, more or less, I have 60 persons to accommodate on December, maybe it happened on the second week of December doon sa uh, New Maris in Mission in Coronadal. If you are interested to join in my charity, just PM me and I really, really appreciate guys ang inyong mga tulong. In addition to that, all my membership proceeds will go to my charity. Hindi yan mapupunta sa akin. Lahat yan guys, mapupunta yan sa aking charity. And I am very, very happy. I have people around me. Those are my sponsors. Those who have golden hearts, you know. Always remember that God always bless the cheerful giver. So I'm very, very happy and I'm gonna recognize all of those of my sponsors after the, uh, after my charity work, okay? For my understanding group, Ian Ventures, Bulana Rhine in, U in Hong Kong, Cosina Nimiyat, The Monkey Barber, Amelia on TV, Lydia Tabon, Lilia Reyes Biblag, Mac Pernia, mga Kabagsik TV, Ako si Bebs 2, Getting Lost with Jess, Crazy Baking Girl, Mademoiselle Bell 23 Shella, ayan, Prince Toys Journey, Jackie Carafo B Vlog, ang aking mga caring, aba, ito mga caring caring ko guys, Miss Koy Whitey, Harry Clint Arkwork Channel, ang CEO na Lamio ng Team Gapangan, CEO ng mga Binata, Marilyn Antiola TV, JB Martin, ang ating director, ayan, Jen Craft, Arjuri Delantes, Flora Palampas, Jen CM Channel, Evolution 1971, Venus Amugis, Ira Bulana USA, Joy Mix TV, ang mga itoy at mga iring natin dyan. Jason Akono TV Official. I know Chris, our international friend. Ginny Jane TV Official. Regina RJ. Ida B Vlog TV. Aluna Amor. Jason Mireles. Oxilium Carig. Jonah Ponce V Vlog. The Yams V Vlog. Smiling Face Channel, si, si Dayams Biblag yan ang ating director sa Team Gapangan. Nako, ingat-ingat kayo dyan, pagagalitan kayo pag hindi kayong sumunod. Ayan, Smiling Face Channel, 
star between EPP Topper Topperman Channel, Cocina ni Jean, Maddie's Cooking, Nobskir Reacts, Alice B Vlogs TV, Juvi Madronero, Daisy B Vlog, Guapang Maguuma, ayan, nako ang mga guapang maguuma na yan. And Buhulana Catering Channel, happy birthday sa iyong anak na si Roselle. Arbic TV, Jean Brian B. Blog, Des Channel, and the Smiley the Sexy Lady. Pobring Bisdak sa iyo, hello sa iyo madam. Red Crafteria, Marie Felicis, Leia Ding Lasan B. Blog, Gladys Madahan, my sister, aba na surprise ako. Ang nagpa-member pala ang sister ko. Yung tag kung taga Corona daw kayo guys, you can visit her Gladys a uh, Garden at the City uh, Park 'yan. Meron siyang pwesto diyan guys. And then Pubring Bisdak sa iyo. Ayan nandito na doble. So, of course, of course, of course, hindi makakalimutan ang aking thumbnail lady. Aba, itong thumbnail lady ko. Comets Kitchen. And guys, maraming maraming salamat po. And please don't forget to comment below, like, share this video to your family and friends and community. If you want to request another topic for my next blog, just comment below. I love to read all your comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Good night.